Dear friends, welcome to this week's edition of our Time in the Word broadcast. As I stand before you, as I often do, I'm asking myself this question as I look to the camera and wondering who's on the other side. Here's what I'm, what I'm wondering. What are you thinking and where are you in life? You see, truly, I, I don't know. Through the years, I've often attempted to figure out people and their whys. Occasionally, I get it right, but more often than not, I get it wrong. And here's why. Only God knows what's in a person's heart. So this day, I'm anticipating that no matter who you are or what your circumstances, you are in need of something to look forward to. You say, Pastor, what? You and I are in need of something to look forward to. And this is our lesson for the week. You see, Christians always have something to look forward to. Let me say it again. Christians always have something to look forward to. Does that lie in your heart today? Does that encourage you? Now, I know in the world, there's so many reasons for people to dread what's ahead. Now, we've been discovering this in our lessons from the book of Revelation. But at the same time, we've been discovering many reasons to look forward to what's ahead. And friends, today, we see this in the last half of Revelation chapter number 7. Remember last week, we said together the first half, that there's no time to waste. Well, now in the last half, we believe this, according to Scripture, that John sees a scene at the end of the age, when the Lord has returned. Yes, John sees a scene of a world that is to come, listen to this, for the people of God. Yes, it is a world that restores hope in a place where there now is a little hope. Now, here's what John sees. The Scripture says that John sees an unnumerable amount of people. They are around the throne of God, and they are worshiping. And I want you to hear, I want you to hear Revelation chapter number 7, beginning in verse 15. Therefore, they are before the throne of God, John writes, and they serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Verse 16 says, They shall hunger no more, neither thou shalt they thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. Verse 11 says this, For the Lamb, hallelujah, is in the midst of the throne, and He will be our shepherd, and He will guide us to springs of living water. And listen to this, friend, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes and those of us who are believers from our eyes, end quote. Friends, you see, what is to come is totally the opposite of what is now. There is coming a day when God will be in the midst of His church. We will be sheltered in His presence forever. He will wipe out all causes of pain. He will wipe out hunger, thirst, drought, disaster, the enemy Himself. The living water, Jesus Christ, will walk among us, and we shall serve Him in the place, here it is, called heaven. Christians, I want to tell you something today. No matter in what position you are in, you have something amazing to look forward to. Now, I don't know about you, but this has lifted my spirits today. I needed it. I needed to be reminded that Christians have always had something to look forward to. Now, let's think about this for a moment. Just for a moment. Here's a good question for us. Are you a Christian? If so, look up and live as one who has great hope. If you're not, let me ask you this. Why are you waiting? Wait no longer. Surrender your life to the God who can clean you up, who can straighten you up, who can set you up, who can make you be born again to a new life in Him. Reach out to us at info at jacksonfbc.com. We'd love to help you with this. We're, we're, you're always a blessing to us. Friends, share, share this video today with people on Facebook and whatever social media platform that you have. Hey, we love you. We're thankful for you. And until next time, may God richly bless you.